first time I finished in 2004 and I was lucky to become the first man from post-Soviet countries to finish the longest race in the world. And for me, uh, it became actually one of the major projects in life. Uh, so I returned to run the race many more times and I'm still active runner. So just um, this year is one year off. Uh, but generally for me, uh, this race is the best school of life, you can say. Because uh, it's really... Um, you learn what things work in your life, what things don't work in your life. So it's the best uh, practice and the best test for all theories, for all your convictions, attitude and everything. So as I say, the 3100 mile race is the best school for time management, for crisis management, for stress management, for uh, leadership, for everything. So if you are uh, in management field like I am uh, on my profession, so uh, the best school and the best courses you can finish is the 3100 mile race. <laughs> because really, it's, if something is bad in your, or let's say something is, is wrong with your attitude, you have some negative thoughts about um, whatever, like uh, situation in the field or some other runner or some like news from your country or whatever. So these um, uh, negative thought can block you very nicely. And during the race, you see it vividly. In our day-to-day -day life, quite often we postpone the solution of some problems that are blocking us or be becoming obstacle in our uh, outer life on, on, or in our spiritual life. But in 3100 mile race, it's so intense, really intense, that you need to address some issue immediately. If you don't, you will not run further. So it's uh, with uh, your legs, with the blisters, as well as uh, nutrition, as well as your positive frame of mind. Because uh, if you are too much into like watching clocks and following uh, some milestones uh, uh, during the day. If you're too much into this technical stuff, you are losing um, spontaneous flow of energy and you're becoming overstressed, uh, over tensioned probably. And again, you cannot do your maximum. So what I learned from 3100 is to do your best, to do your maximum. First of all, you need to relax. I feel that uh, I'm a born runner. So I like running, running um, immensely. But somehow, uh, when I decided to take a break um, this year from 3100, Somehow, uh, inspiration came for me to uh, become a swimmer. And actually, gradually, gradually, I really started to love water. So, uh, I consider myself still an average swimmer, but I have uh, endurance. And um, yeah, during this uh, seven months period before the Zurich Lake competition, Zurich Lake Swim, 26K, uh, I made a few breakthrough and I really start enjoying swimming, which is flow, which is, uh, it's very nice feeling actually. Uh, from one hand, swimming is much less stressful in comparison with running. So it's a pretty good relaxation to your legs, to your spine, to everything. But from other hand, it's very much uh, demanding on your technique. So if you are tired, 
and you are losing your like horizontal line or making like some weird movement with your hands your uh, speed decreases tremendously so you really need to be focused uh, you, you really need to watch your technique but it's also it's manageable even like I'm now 47 I was uh, training um, in my childhood uh, maybe for one year or half a year as a swimmer but now I you can say regain this um, some basic techniques and I went much much more further so it's still still possible to become a swimmer <laughs> uh, it turned out yes actually um, I love challenges I really uh, like to accept challenges and um, yeah, triathlon, uh, specifically Ironman, the full distance when you need to swim 3.8k and then bike uh, 180k and then full marathon 42k. Uh, I did it once in, in 2013. That was my previous break from 3100. So so far I have like two breaks in my uh, 13. Uh, running career of 3100 uh, so yeah I trained also uh, um, I like serious approach so I trained um, profusely for Ironman and I uh, did it in uh, United States in Louisville and for the first time it was pretty good time 11 hours 10 minutes 10 minutes and uh, yeah, that was my probably the first experience with swimming long distances, let's say. But now I'm way, way long, way, way more uh, from that uh, first experience. Yeah, and um, I also wrote um, a book uh, about Ironman, my first Ironman, from dream to finish. Uh, I vividly rem remember one experience when it was biking part. Uh, close closer to the end of bike biking part biking like um, 180k and suddenly I felt so much gratitude to the nature to the supreme to like I really felt you can say compassion or grace from above entering into my body and I just admire and, and love these moments that also happened during 3100 when you are completely into dynamic state. You are moving, you are pretty intensely like pedaling, but you feel so much peace inside. It thrills all your, all your body. And I was literally crying from this experience, from this gratitude and some immense feeling, some infinite things that entered into you so it was unforgettable experience well I, i'm meditating on switching my path for 26 years and uh, i must say that uh, meditation gives to me a very solid foundation for all my achievements both in sport, both in uh, my professional career as a manager, uh, everywhere. Because uh, um, I do feel that peace is uh, infinite power. And with the peace in your body, with the, with the peace in your body, you can save your energy, preserve and then use when you need it. With the peace in your mind, you can concentrate on the things that are really important in, in, in life and not, not just scatter your thoughts in all directions, losing, again, losing power. So, um, and of course in our, let's say, uh, sometimes uh, really chaotic uh, world, chaotic life, pretty stressed, uh, the peace foundation helping me to be like a solid rock in life and not to uh, be washed away by problems, by some 
uh, negative currents, uh, opinions, uh, unfortunate situations like in my country, in Ukraine, right now. But, but, and through meditation, through proper meditation, it's, uh, I believe, pretty easy to feel peace, to accumulate peace, and then to use peace in your daily life. When you speak to other people, when you do your projects, when you do activities, and when you uh, perform sports also, that's pretty important. My major experience is uh, ultra distance. So uh, I'm ultra distance running, that means not just like 100k, but that means like 50 days in a row, like 3100. And now uh, I'm also applying this uh, knowledge, you can say, to my swimming, ultra-long swimming. 26k of swimming is also pretty long, pretty long. <laughs> so um, the major thing that I discovered is you need to maintain your alkaline balance during uh, all, all this performance, specifically long and intense performance performances um, and for that there are many like obviously you know some products that uh, provoke uh, acidic reaction in your body like sugar um, I'm sorry like coffee and uh, like meat fish all these uh, uh, kind of products really um, increasing acidity in our body from other hand, uh, like vegetables and uh, fresh juices, for instance, sprouts, uh, and lemon. This is the king of alkaline, actually. Um, yes. Yeah, so the, these kind of things really important to like to take care when you are performing some uh, activities that requires your uh, endurance. endurance. Uh, of course, um, I have many recommendations uh, concerning uh, supplements, uh, uh, support for immune system, support for uh, muscle recovery, support for that, support for that. So it's uh, pretty much individual and in my opinion every supplement, every like uh, a thing that you would like to um, to make you stronger actually that's your goal you take supplements not to just uh, be like others but to to become stronger yourself not weaker but stronger especially in some uh, like down periods when the energy is low when uh, you're tired so you really need some uh, good support from outer world, you can say. So this is, uh, I believe this is very much individual and you need to test. Mm, I test all my supplements, uh, how they, uh, with a muscle test, uh, uh, how my body reacts on that. And if uh, body reaction is strong, like my muscles becoming stronger, then this is mine, this is my supplement. So I believe this is very much individual, um, like for, for everybody. But from other hand, what I saw also quite often, uh, when you catch really nice inner flow, the energy coming from within, and it much 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 more powerful than any outer supplement you can ever imagine uh, uh, even scientifically it's proven when you are in good mood and when you are love like sincerely love from like funny things from joke from humor so this emotion creates uh, alkal alkaline like alkalinity that much, much more transcended even the lemon, the king of, of uh, <laughs> alkaline balance. So you see, with, with our inner resources, we can uh, also make a very good input to energy, which we all need, especially in long distance sport, 
uh, but in day-to-day -day life also. Like it's all about energy and motivation to continue. So, but uh, uh, my point of view that I prefer to do both sides. I uh, do like the inner work. I use uh, mantras. I use uh, many like inner techniques to invoke this higher power to uh, work in you and through you. And I also in favor of support body with the outer supplements, um, which quite often they need. We need, yeah. Every uh, New Year um, I'm dedicating special time to meditate and to envision my plans for the year. And uh, from one hand I really like to set the goals. Like this, this time it was Zurich Lake, a few other like big things. Uh, and still I'm dreaming about uh, opening my own uh, divine enterprise with the disciples of Sri Chinmoy, um, which is still a big dream, you can say. Um, from other hand, uh, if I'm looking back on how things happened in my life before, I, clear as, I clearly see that I just responded to, you can say, higher calls. Some inspiration came from within and I applied for 3100. And uh, in, in, in two years I did first 3100, like 2004. And then I felt that this is, this is really my project. So on my finish in 2004, when I was going through many, many sufferings, first race always like shock for, for body, for everybody, for every runner who is doing first time. But on the finish line, I already felt that I will come m many, many more times. I said it loudly and everybody was shocked how it's possible. <laughs> he was suffering like anything and now he's telling that he will come many more times. Yes, so that, that's, I just responded to uh, movement uh, within. And the same happened with this Zurich Lake. It was some movement from within. And first I was a little bit scared to accept because I'm not a swimmer. But then I like challenges. And that's, that was the final. If, if you are uh, reacting to, to the Zurich Lake swim, so one day you must do it. And why not this year? Okay. So this year I'm doing Zurich Lake. So what will happen next? Uh, frankly speaking, I have no idea. But I'm still active in my 47. I'm still um, full of energy and full of willingness to accept challenges. And we'll see. Maybe it will be some big swims. And for sure it will be more 3100 miles. Uh, no matter how many times you finish it before, it's a new and a big challenge. Believe me, it's a big challenge every time, but to finish in this race, it's the most rewarding experience, most rewarding experience. So I'm looking forward, most probably next year I will do 3100 miles again.